I'm Dorotea and welcome back to the Italian Board Gamer. In my previous video, what? You didn't watch it? Come on, go, go watch it! It's fun! In my previous video, I presented Azul and today I'm going to teach you how to play it. The objective of the game is to score the most points while building a beautiful mosaic. Question. What do you need to build a mosaic? In Azul, you need tiles. Let's start from the start. Follow me at the table. We're gonna set up the game for two players. Two player boards, of course. Five factory displays. Two scoring markers on the number zero of the scoring track. One starting player marker. This goes to the player who starts first. 100 tiles. The first player randomly draws the tiles from the bag and places four tiles in each factory display. The game is played in multiple rounds. Each round consists of three phases. Factory offer, wall tiling phase and preparation for the next round. During this phase, Players will take turn in picking tiles from the offer and place them on the pattern lines of the player board trying to build the most effective strategy, the one that is going to score you the most point. Question: How do we pick tiles? Well, blindfolded? Really? Maybe for a party game, but this is Azul, much more simple than that. The setup of the game is complete. The player with the first player marker plays it in the middle of the table and start the turn by picking tiles. Choose from any one factory displays all tiles of the same color. Once you make your choice, push all the tiles remaining from that factory displays into the center of the table. This is what they call general offer. From now on, players can pick tiles either from the factory displays or for the general offer. The first player who decided to pick from the general offer, he will have to take the first player marker as well. The marker will be placed on the floor line, starting from the left, on the first available spot, like this. The floor line is the line at the bottom of your player board which displays negative points. Any tiles that you cannot or you don't want place into your construction area will go into the floor line. At the end of the round, the player will sum up all negative values and deduct them from the general score. Now that you know how to pick tiles, Let's see how to align them on the pattern lines according to the rules. Once you pick your tile, push the rest in the center of the table, you can place your tile one by one in one and only one of the pattern lines available. You could also place them here if you wish to, but if you place them here, there is only one space for this tile and this will have to go on the floor line. Let's have a look at one of the restrictions. If a pattern line holds already tiles of a certain color, you can only place tiles of the same color in that line. So you can do this, but you cannot do this. Let's have a look at another restriction. In this situation, we have three red tiles to pick. We cannot place them here because the corresponding spot on the wall, it's already been filled in with the tile of that color. And we will never be able to transfer this one on the wall because it's already there. We can either place these tiles here because we can only put tiles of the same color in the same line. Same things apply here. We can only place the one of the three tiles in this spot and place the other two on the floor line. So far so good. Let's recap. Factory offer. Players pick tiles from the table and place them on the pattern lines in their boards. Remember that any tiles that fall into the floor line will cost you negative points. 
Players will continue taking turns until there are no more tiles on the table and the factory offer is over. And the wall tiling phase begins. This is how the player board may look like at the end of the factory offer phase. Now we're ready to score points. To score points, we transfer tile from the pattern lines to the wall. We can only transfer tiles from completed lines like this, this, this and this. This line is incompleted. Starting from the top and working our way down to the pattern lines, we transfer tiles belonging to a complete line from the construction area to the corresponding color on the wall. Any tile we transfer, we check if that tile is connected to any other tile. If it is not connected, like in this case, this tile gains one point on the score track. We go down to the second line, we transfer the rightmost tile to the corresponding color on the wall. This tile also is not linked to any other tile and it scores one point. This tile can now be stored on the lid of the box. One last example and we're good to go. This line is not complete, so we can't transfer any tile from here. But this one is complete, so we transfer the black tile into this spot. The black tile will gain four points vertically and three points horizontally. Seven more points. We remove those and we count the negative points from the floor line. Minus one, minus one and minus two, we have to deduct four points from the general score. At the end of each wall tiling phase, we check whether any player has completed a horizontal line of five consecutive tiles. If that is not the case, we start with the preparation phase. The player who has the first starting player token Place it in the middle of the table and refills the factory tiles with new tiles from the bag. If during the wall tile phase a player managed to build on his wall an horizontal line, that triggers the end of the game. All players will complete the wall tile phase and after that they will go to the additional points. We add the additional points to the score track and the player with most points buys beers. I mean, wins the game. Let's have a look at the additional scoring. Two points for each complete horizontal line of five consecutive tiles you place on your wall. Seven points for each vertical line of five consecutive tiles and 10 points for each set of 5 tiles of the same color you place on your wall. And so, remember, pick tiles from the offer, place them on the pattern lines, complete as many pattern lines as possible, because these give you the chance to score points. So, the point of Azul is to score points. See my point? And if you like changes, the game has a variant on the back of the player board you will see a grey wall that means you're free to place the tiles as you wish just remember you can never place two tiles of the same color on a horizontal line or on a vertical line other than that the game follows the same rules that we learned so far for any doubts refer to the rule book it's only six pages and it's full of graphic examples. Those are all the ingredients for a fun time. I leave you to Azul. Subscribe to my channel if you feel like, and I'll see you next time. In three, two, one, ciao! Mm. If during the wall time phasing, phasing, <laughs> seven points, That is the end of the factory phase. No. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. According to the rules. I like this according to the rules. Non molto italiano. Adesso che hai letto tessere, impariamo come... In English! Mm. In my previous video... Uh, in you? Squeaky things. I speak myself. 
No more talking about it? No. Let's talk about it. And that was the... Um, Um, okay, so that was the the whole tiling phase is coming. The whole tiling phase is coming. The whole tiling phase. 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 Let's see. The player with the first player marker, starting marker. Dorothea English. First starting player marker. Mm -hmm. With the starting player mark. No more blah blah blah. Start the hell is called this thing. Ah, key.